What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I just got back from a ride on um, my Skidoo and the sled performed flawlessly. I mean, awesome. I was really happy with uh, the way it rode. Um, the suspension was a little bit soft, which I kind of tweaked that. Um, but I found an issue halfway through my ride and that is my ski stoppers. So. If you don't know what a ski stopper is, basically, this is a new ski stopper. Let me get in the light here. That is a brand new one. This is an old one, okay? It's not too bad, not too wore out. Um, you can see it's ripped right there. Um, but what this does is when your ski flexes this direction, up and down, this stopper keeps your ski from going like this all the way up. If you didn't have that rubber in there, basically what happens is you'll be riding through the snow and your ski's going to sit just like this rather than flat. And um, on the Skidoo's, it's kind of a, I don't know, my personal opinion is it's not a very good design, um, but it is what it is. There's some aftermarket upgrades you can get to fix it and make it better, but um, that costs money like everything else. So I had issues kind of side hilling with my uh, sled just a little bit and I had problems with my right side sinking. And this is my left ski, and this is my right side. As you can see, my ski stopper is totally trashed. It is totally messed up. So, I can lift up on this ski, and this thing just rotates all the way up pretty much. No problem, it shouldn't do that. It should be more like this one, where when I lift it, it stops. What we're going to do is we're going to jack the sled up by the running boards right there and then um, we're going to uh, pop our bolt out, remove our ski, pull our old ski stopper out, kind of clean everything up, lube it with some WD-40, throw the new one back in and we'll be golden. Hopefully that fixes our issue and uh, um, we can go, you know, a couple hundred miles on these ski stoppers and then we'll probably replace them again, but it's just a maintenance item, but the old skidoo is a little bit dirty from the ride, I got to get it cleaned up. Um, but for the first ride, I was really happy with it. Really, really happy with the sled. All right. Well, there's the old ski stopper pretty bad not much left of it so pull this bushing out I'm gonna clean it up while I'm here I'm gonna clean up this outside and uh, lube this up with some WD-40 and put it back in and uh, we should be good to go on it there we go so you can see that little tab so this sits right in there, just like that. And then the ski rides right here, and these high and low spots on the bumper is what keeps the ski from over-rotating too much. So um, that's what they ran that year. So I got my um, pin cleaned up right there. Um, and we're gonna go ahead, there's an old ski rubber right there. It looks pretty rough, but we're gonna go ahead and put it back on there. I've lubed everything up. We're going to slide it back in and uh, hopefully it's not as bad going back in as it was coming out because that was rough. That was rough. The other side was not near as bad. Okay, you can see how tight that is with the uh, new rubber in. So I'm going to lower the jack like I did on the other side and that will put the pressure of the sled on it and help me with my bolt. I will still have to maneuver it in um, and get it lined up perfectly. but. Helps to have the weight of the sled so you're not holding the ski up. All right. There we go. Look how solid that is now. Easy fix. Uh, these ski rubbers cost 21 bucks a piece from Skidoo themselves, so 
Um, fairly inexpensive fix. Uh, I know some people replace them about every 500 miles. Some people replace them every thousand. Some people run them like I did until they just come apart. So um, do yourself a favor, replace your ski rubbers, um, your ski dampeners if you got them and uh, keep yourself in check that way. So funny thing was um, this weekend when I was riding, um, I was side hilling mostly on the right side, which was kind of funny. And um, I was really struggling to side hill on the right side. Um, the snow wasn't deep enough. It was just, you know, the first year snow. Um, but regardless, uh, it was tough. So this will help fix that issue for sure. So I'm still learning this sled, still trying to figure out how it works and uh, what it likes, what I like with it. Um, one ride on a new sled doesn't, you don't know nothing about it. So I'm going to be tweaking with it for a bit. This winter I'll get some good footage, but um, I apologize for not getting any footage on this last ride. I really wanted to uh, get some, but I just got caught up riding and uh, just didn't get it done. So, all right guys, hope this helped. Um, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't. We'll do some more sled videos soon and uh, we'll catch you next one. Thanks.